Okay, True Believers, is Rob, coming at you with a new video again, and uh, this video is going to be on my, one of my latest pickups, uh, the Star Wars Black Series, number 6 Yoda, number 7 Clone Trooper Sergeant, Clone Trooper Sergeant, yes, and these are from the Black Series, uh, 6 inch, and it's one of the, this is part of the newer, the latest wave that came out, and I actually picked these guys up at um, Toys R Us. Uh, one of my local toys, not the one I typically go, I went to a different one. Uh, I was trying to get the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, seal book by Best Buy and made it, I was there before the store opened, walk in and they were gone. So, but that's a whole different story, I'm still upset about that, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, but uh, yeah, so there you go, Star Wars Black Series. Uh, Yoda and Clone Trooper. I couldn't find the type. They call him the Type Pilot on the actual box, but we all know him as the Type Fighter Pilot, and that's one of the. This probably that's probably the more desirable one from this particular wave. Uh, I know at uh, Big Bad, uh, Big Bad, Bad Toy Store they they have a four pack of these. These two guys with the Type Fighter Pilot and Obi Wan included. And I don't actually have the only one, and I was planning to buy it just right from them, but. I don't know, I just saw them today, I'm like, I couldn't help it, and I, had, and, I, and I picked them up today, so. So now I have to uh, scavenge around, scavenger, what's scavenger? Look around for the TIE Fighter Pilot, that's going to be a little difficult. It'll be one, uh, it was there today, it's a, it's a pick holder. I just, I don't know, whenever I feel like blowing 20 bucks, I'll buy the we one. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the, well your packaging is a typical packaging, I'm not going to really go in thorough. There's the little vial that it has, the image from the Empire Strikes Back, and I just dropped it. <laughs> and let's look at the clone trooper, there you go, this is the sergeant. I actually don't have the regular one, and that's another, it's pretty easily attainable, you don't have to really pay out a lot extra for it. I actually haven't seen it in the shop and stores, but uh, Amazon has plenty of it. I think, I think the Hasbro website as well. So, so let's open these guys up and see how they look. Okay, there you go. There's the figures out of the packaging. As you can see, the size difference for the Yoda. He is literally not even up to his waist, and. Uh, he stands nicely. Uh, let's take a look at the Yoda here. Uh, articulation, it's your basic rotations of the knees and stuff, the elbows, wrists, all the basic articulation this figure has, of course, due to his size. Sorry, here, I'm just, something caught my eye. Okay. Alright. But, uh, this is due to his size, that's not, um, you know, there's the articulation is not like super. It, it's how can I say this? It's not like wow, it's impressive or anything. It's just your basic articulation, not really hardcore. I'm not. I can't really do it. I'm holding the camera with one hand, so it's kind of hard for me to show the articulation. But that's boring. Let's just look at the figure here. Uh, there's the belt, uh, the sculpture, the so the sculpt of the head. It's kind of a little out of focus there. Weird. Sorry, I had a little quiet moment here, <laughs> looking. But uh, you know, I just got the figures myself. I'm really looking at these as well. I haven't like them look at them beforehand. Um, it's, it's nice. I, I appreciate. I like him more out of the packaging. He doesn't really. It's definitely a figure that's not really the pack. It doesn't look great in the packaging because it's so small compared to the packaging. But in your hand, when you feel him, it's a little bit a nice weight to him. The on on the camera, I think it does capture pretty much what it looks like and feels like in uh, what it looks like in, in person. It just uh, maybe brings out a little brightness, more brighter color. It's a little darker in person than green. Um, I love the robe. The robe is really nice. It flows nicely, just feels nicely, it looks like it belongs to him. The snake looks pretty cool. 
a little, well, I don't know what that is, talisman, whatever that is. It's two accessories, the cane, there you go, and the lightsaber, but uh, it's your basic lightsaber. I'm, I'm not sure if it's any, it might be a little smaller than normal. Yes, yeah, this green lightsaber, here's the back, the sideburns. Then, uh, I don't know, in person the paint looks nice and gray. And the camera, and the camera, especially with lighting, it looks white, straight out white, but it's not white. It's like a dark. It's like a maybe a mid gray kind of color. But that's enough on Yoda. So that's Yoda. The actual Sergeant Clone Trooper. Um, I like this. Uh, I, I guess we call it a pea green green pea. <laughs> Uh, avocado green, let's call it avocado green. Yeah, um, oop, he already just fell. Uh, the articulation on this guy, I do like how the, can not really do it, I was playing with it earlier, but the articulation on the, around the waist and the ab, I guess crunch it has, it's, it feels nice, it moves nicely, it feels, it feels great when you're actually articulating the figure, it's, uh, feels like it'll hold that pose. Um, uh, well, yeah, but the, uh, sculpting, the coloring is great, the, the one thing I do have, uh, wish this figure had me was, uh, a, uh, holster, so you could put this, uh, regular blaster, so you could have carry the big rifle, the big, uh, rifle with both hands, you could just holster that gun in his, in his belt or something. He has a belt and it's separate piece to the sculpt here, um, but no holster. Oh, maybe I don't, maybe nothing in the packaging. I wish it would have came with one or something you could just attach to the back or something. I think it would be great, but uh, no. But he stands well. He has no issues with his him standing. Um, he seems a little tall. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have the other one, so I can't really compare them with the other one, but, um, looks great, I think. I really like it. I'm glad I picked them up. Uh, definitely look, looking forward to getting my hands on the TIE Fighter Pilot, because that's the prominent one, that, of course, that I want and everybody else wants. That's probably be, I don't know how hard it would be to get that one, but we'll see. We'll see. It wasn't hard to get these. This is, I even attempted it. I found them, so. Glad I found them at Toys for Us, and uh, it's $19.99 the price, basic retail price, twenty. So I spent forty bucks plus tax on them, and uh, definitely be a great addition to your Black Series collection if you're collecting the series. I'm not sure if you collect your Absolutus and collect everything, but uh, if you're just a guy who's picking figures here and there, I think the Yoda would be essential for any Star Wars collector. The Clone Trooper, not really, but. Uh, I recommend them. I think I definitely, I really, I do like them. I'm not a big clone guy. I actually don't care for the clones, but uh, I prefer Stormtroopers. But uh, it goes cool. And I'll probably put them, put them with my Empire display. I broke them up to Empire and then the other shelf is like um, Heroes and the Re and the Bounty Hunters. So, this, so, so I have two Boba Fett and a Greedo, so, and Jabba, of course. But, uh, so that's that. Uh, so like the video, subscribe if you can, please, and uh, keep on being true believers. Keep on collecting. See you later. Bye.